kids with challenging behavior. Very often we have kids, great kids, who have challenging behavior because they're demonstrating, I don't feel like I belong here. Kids with disabilities are systematically marginalized and excluded in many different ways. <laughs> Income, socioeconomic status, is a real issue with belonging. Harassment and bullying. How staff arrange themselves. I think this is a really interesting thing. It's not that um, sexy of a topic to go into a school and talk about how staff arranges themselves, but it's the first and most important thing. Because if you have segregated classrooms, and if you have resource rooms, and if you have timeout rooms, and if you have the cloud room, and you have OTP2 room, and you have all these places where people can go, if you build it, they'll come. So we spent a lot of time just doing space maps of schools and rethinking who's utilizing these spaces. School climate is huge. LGBT issues are huge in schools. That homeschool connection that you brought up is very big. The schedule. Today I'm going to talk a lot about academic achievement as it relates to belonging. English language learners, student placement, and the playground. The playground can be a site of real inclusion and belonging, and it can also be a place that is very difficult for kids. I'm going to just share a quick story of my son, Sam. Um, so I mentioned Sam has a visual impairment, and he's in an inclusive school in a really nice classroom, and I love it. Um, and he, in the winter, kids were wearing different color hats out on the playground, and it was bugging him because he couldn't find his friends. So his friend that wore a pink hat yesterday now is a blue hat, and now he can't find that person. And so what he did, this just kind of speaks to the community built in that school, is he asked his teacher, Mrs. Procopio, if he could have five minutes during morning meeting to do some problems helping with the class. And so I wasn't there, but I got a call at night, and, and apparently he said, I just need five minutes on the agenda. So she said, no problem, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> just five minutes. And he said, you could scribe. He said to Mrs. Procopio, you can scribe for this. So she got to scribe the idea. And he just said to the kids, listen, Everybody's changing their hats and coats, and it's really hard for me because I'm missing my friends. I can't find you guys on the playground because of my visual impairment. So if you could think of some ideas, Mrs. Procopio will write them, and we'll come up with some solutions, right? So the kids start brainstorming. The first kid said, we could just get Dayglow pennies, and we can all wear these Dayglow pennies, and you could see us. You'd know who your class was. And Sam said that'd be expensive and whatever. So they went through the whole list, and they, they did two things. They decided to get class hats, that are all the same color, so he can look in the sea of kids and know that kid in blue hat equals someone in my class. I can find you and I can get connected with people. They also, a strange accommodation that came out of this, is one of the kids that we could have walkie-talkies. <laughs> so Sam literally has a walkie-talkie at recess, and then he has a walkie-talkie buddy. And whoever signed up that day to be a walkie-talkie buddy no. um, has the other end of it. So no matter where they are in the playground, Sam's like, over and out, you've got, where are you? And then, I, and then someone says, we're by the slide. Here I come, right? And they can find each other. It was a parent conference, someone said, my child said they're on Sam's list. Can you explain that to me? So anyway, he has a list, he has backups, it's really nice. But the point is, when you think about playgrounds and those kinds of things, if you're in a really inclusive community, you have a place where kids have a say, they have a voice, and they can problem solve together. And people get really nervous, like, I, you know, what if Sam feels uncomfortable talking about his visual impairment? Well, he doesn't, and it's really nice for folks to be able to just come together and share these ideas. 